Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We're going to talk about enabling the onboard graphics on a particular motherboard. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind that are very important, very important. Make sure your chip, your processor, your CPU supports onboard graphics. A lot of them don't. And so trying to enable the onboard graphics uh, on a computer running a chip without integrated graphics support is a waste of time and uh, is not ever going to work. Uh, so Google it, just Google your chip and find out. Number two, uh, these onboard graphics ports are slow. And what I mean by that is for gaming. You can watch videos, browse the internet, check email, do anything you want in general on the, these ports except gaming. You cannot game on them well at all. Lastly, when you go into your BIOS, you're taking a risk. It's for experienced users. Um, this is level one stuff for those of us that are experienced, but do be aware that you could screw things up by going into your BIOS. So uh, do be willing to take that risk and know that that risk does exist before doing so. Now with all the disclaimers out of the way, let's move on and look at how to enable the onboard graphics. Okay, so now we're looking at an ASRock Z490 Steel Legend. Um, most of the ASRock Z490 boards will follow this same process. It looks a little weird here because I have it on a 49-inch super ultra-wide display. I simply tap the delete key repeatedly after powering the machine on. So again, you just hit the power button and start tapping the delete key on the keyboard about once per second, and this is where you'll find yourself. Now, um, it typically starts off in, in uh, simple mode, easy mode. Uh, you hit F6 to go to advanced mode. And here you can see the cursor is highlighted on advanced. If I hit the left and the right arrow, you see that cursor move across the screen to the various things. But we want to be on advanced. And what we want to do is go down, using the arrow keys, go down to chipset configuration, hit enter. And primary graphics adapter is PCI Express. If you have a video card, which if you're watching this video based on the title, you should, you always want to leave the primary graphics adapter being the PCI Express, not the onboard graphics, because the PCI Express is the video card and it's faster than onboard graphics. Now, if we keep hitting the down arrow until it's, we actually go off the screen down here at the bottom, we'll eventually get to, and I'm going to hit it down a few more times, to where it says iGPU multi-monitor. That's how you enable the onboard graphics. You hit enter, choose enabled, enter, and then up here under share memory, I'd leave it set to auto, but you can pre-allocate uh, different amounts of memory up to one gig, but I would just leave that set to auto. So our iGPU multi-monitor is now set to enable. That'll enable our onboard graphics. We go over, hit the right arrow until we get over to exit, which is way over there. And we want to choose save changes and exit and hit enter. And then make sure you're highlighted on the word yes. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to highlight on no because I don't want to enable onboard graphics. But it'll tell you here what changes are going to be made. It's telling you iGPU multi-monitor is being changed from disabled to enabled. But again, I'm choosing no because I don't want to enable the onboard graphics. Um, and there you go. Now, once you go into Windows, um, you may have to manually install the video drivers. I've seen this happen several ways. If you just let the computer sit there, it may install the Intel iGPU graphics driver automatically. Sometimes you can get it to do it by running Windows Setup, excuse me, Windows Update, Windows Update. And then lastly, uh, you may have to go to intel.com and download the Intel graphics drivers. Just Google Intel graphics driver 
and then make sure you're actually at Intel's website that you just don't click on the first search result and assume it's it's innocent. Uh, make sure you're actually at Intel before you go and download it. So that's an ASRock Z series motherboard. Specifically, this is the Z490 Steel Legend.